headlines range from political earthquake to political smackdown, referencing the California Democratic Party's endorsement of Kevin DeLeon, the rival of four-term incumbent Senator Dianne Feinstein for the U.S. Senate seat. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle in the Live Center tonight with the heated conversation that's happening on social media. Yeah, Twitter has been buzzing all day about this. Some people saying, why switch horses in the middle of a race, giving Feinstein credit for her institutional knowledge, but then saying maybe they need new strategies and new ideas in the office. Now, other people saying they support Feinstein outright and saying that she had a huge majority in the California primary. That was in June. Now, the political analyst that we spoke with said that this could all wash out by the time November 11th election rolls around. U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein is running for her fifth term against California State Senator Kevin DeLeon. Dianne Feinstein is a legend in the political world. She has been around for almost a quarter of a century. Her experience didn't win over the California Democratic Party, who voted 65 percent in favor of liberal DeLeon and a mere 7 percent for Feinstein. The others abstained. I think uh, the vote uh, yesterday was a reflection of, of many Californians who want to change that believes that the status quo in Washington is, is simply not working for them. De Leon sees the tides changing. Our political analyst, Wendy Patrick, not so sure. She is, has a lot of support. She's raised a lot of money. So it's questionable whether this latest endorsement is really going to do much or have much of an impact on slowing her down before the general election. In the California June primary, Feinstein garnered millions of votes and the majority, 44%. In this instance, we've got to remember that Dianne Feinstein is going to be making a splash in the hearings that are going to be taking place to see if Judge Kavanaugh is going to be confirmed. So her name will continue to have national recognition. De Leon has a plan to get his name in voters' ears. And I think that uh, this is a, a real opportunity to, to travel up and down the state of California and really engage with voters uh, and, and provide them a real contrast between the status quo, the senior incumbent, and a, a new face. We've seen high-profile upsets happen in other states, and there's nothing to guarantee that it won't happen in California. Feinstein did downplay the endorsement herself, saying that he was just the highest ranking of the 31 people who ran against her. Reporting in the Live Center, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News.